thought I'd just show you where I am with the InMove head. Uh, the neck broke a, a, a while back and uh, the whole thing has just got worse. Uh, so once it's sl slightly cracked, it's uh, the inner section, uh, the inner ball in there, uh, snapped in half. The other bit's uh, fallen on the floor somewhere. Oh, the other bit is here. Right. Right there. So that, that initially cracked. Because of the uh, weight, uh, the, just the pressure on there, um, which then has also um, pulled out a piece out of there. Um, the loudspeaker section inside got knocked. Just see it in there, the base of it in there. The, the, the loudspeaker sat in there, uh, which I might actually take out because of the additional weight it adds to the whole head and the whole movement. I might put the loudspeaker back in the body. Um, I'm also, while I'm modifying this, I'm going to uh, change some of the wiring because I've got some of the, the cable breakout that uh, runs the neck. It's broken out in the, in the head and comes back down to the body. So I've got quite a few cables coming through here. So I want to simplify all of this. Uh, and just change things. I mean, it was the way it developed as it was wired originally. So, um, so I'm going to make a few changes to that. I thought I'd quickly show you what I've got here. This is Gail's improved version of Bob Houston's neck. Uh, the, the the one I've been using is Bob Houston's neck, which isn't really strong enough. I mean, it's a great neck, and, and uh, this is basically does the same thing, but uh, it's a lot tougher. Um, I'll just move it so you can see it. Um, I've also printed this in um, extra thick. I think this is actually PLA. I must look up what I did use on this. I think I did use PLA on this. Um, but I need to check my notes. I'm not 100%. I may have used a, a slightly stronger um, PETG on it. Uh, so I will look on that. But this is really, really nice. I'll show you quickly how this goes together. I haven't finished bolting all this together. But uh, obviously these, these pieces go in here and uh, you've got this surround that locks it all together so it, it does look um, a lot uh, it goes that way around I suppose yeah it goes that way around and these would sit in there so rather than just having a, a thin bolt uh, supporting it which I'll show you in a second on the on the other remove it's got a proper clamp so that's sort of clamped in um, and this is clamped in as well so that looks a lot a lot stronger and again that that is that's a much thicker front to the neck and that's that's clamped in um, so it does look a, a, a much improved version these are the little bases that go on the servos um, and that's the uh, so they're the side pieces I think I would check I think this might well be P, uh, TG. that's the uh, the main front neck so again that's that's uh, quite a bit thicker not that these actually caused any problems but the the connections were weak and the and the the points at the top were weak uh, so if we go back to the, uh, the neck there you can see um, those were the original pivot points and these are going to be the new pivot points so um, much much tougher uh, the whole the whole assembly the whole block is is tougher so that that fits on there i'm assuming somehow i haven't actually assembled all this i printed this back in june and uh just got distracted and went off and did other things but i do want to get my moves sorted out because just moving it around the head um suddenly started <laughs> really nearly fell off earlier and it was just hanging on by the wires so um i can't sort of move it around the workshop unless i repair this so that's uh that's the head let me just uh, go off camera and i'll swing you around and actually show you the body Okay, I've, as you can see, I've swung the camera around. This is the back of the InMove. Um, these are the the, uh, the existing uh, side to side, the tilt uh, pistons on the, that's the original Bob Houston. Uh, and you can see they're much thinner. Also, this these are the, the, the support bases. Um, this is also snapped. As you can see there, it's broken there. Um, the screws come out. That was always a slight weak point there. This one's all right, but I'm gonna. I obviously need to replace these because again, uh, Gale has uh, supplied new STL uh, STL files for these these uh, um, servo bases. I didn't actually print them because I thought I was just going to be able to get away with reusing those, but obviously they're broken. So I do need to reprint these as well. So I'm going to take this this whole assembly out as well because uh, I've got to take these off. So I might as well just take the whole lot apart, uh, which means the whole neck will be replaced except 
uh, I'm not sure if that gets replaced, but we're going to, as I say, I'm going to go through, I haven't um, uh, looked at this for, for several months, so I'm going to go through the files and uh, Gail's um, layouts and everything and just see how it all goes together, but maybe that gets replaced and maybe some other bits have to move as well. So um, I'm going to uh, um, dig out the information and see what else I need to print. Um, so that's that's my uh, ongoing project to try and get this neck sorted because I want to get the Inmove talking again and chatting away because it can chat to my R2D2 as well because I've got the uh, the um, the R2D2 talking and partly moving at the moment. Uh, so this this is this is the next project. I'm also uh, going to have to I had to cut the power feed up into the neck so I'm going to redo that as well with different connectors that go through here because the XT60s get jammed in the neck um, which I'm assuming yeah just looking at the thickness of the hole through the uh, through the neck um, I don't think an XT60 is going to go through there so um, I'm going to change the way that's wired uh, and just, I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do that but I'm going to see what I'm going to do um, and see how the changes work out so uh, so quite a bit to get on with and a few mods to make and as I say some of the the feeds that break out on the board up there come back down to these motors that one in particular uh, and the um, there was another one as well so I'm going to move both of those down to this breakout board just playing down I've got the breakout boards in the bottom there uh, coming off here so I'm going to just uh, do a bit of modification to the wiring to, to minimize the amount of cable going up up to the top ideally just a, a ribbon cable uh, and the camera feed and power and if I had um, I know some people have actually put the little baby um, the little small mini cards for the EZB controller in the head uh, and uh, don't have any controls going up there at all because you obviously got all the controls in the head at that point and just bring power up to it but I'm not going to do that I haven't got one of those mini controllers and they're quite expensive so um, by the time you import them they're quite expensive anyway so I don't want to spend any more money when I've got it here anyway so uh, just a few mods I think we'll do so the next thing I'm going to do is, is take that apart take that off uh, I think I've got to take the base off the um, if I swing him round you can't really see it in there but uh, let's just pan up the the that I think needs to uh, just pan up a bit more hold up just see see what's going on there we go. That's the, that's the front. So that's also going to change. I think the base change, well, the base will obviously change. So uh, I'm probably going to take quite a bit of that apart, actually. So, uh, and, it, and it needs a bit of a uh, tidy up and everything. Um, so um, get my move um, ready for Christmas. Okay. Okay, this is a continuation of uh, building the, the new uh, in move neck um, with the extra strong parts this is sort of a derivative of Gale's derivative of the uh, Bob Houston neck uh, which I finally printed most of the parts just screwing it together just thought I'd show you how some of these bits go together this bit um, screws onto the onto that section I'm just using um, small um, bolts effectively or screws yeah, bolts uh, but using them as a self tap into there there's no nut on the other side so you've just got to just um, ease them in. Really, um, I'm not sure what that is. I think that's probably an M5. I'll measure that in a second. Uh, and they'll just self tap into there. These were the same ones I'd originally used on uh, the Bob Houston neck, which were holding uh, that piece onto this section. So I've reprinted everything. Um, I think because this is um, version two and that's version one, I'm not sure if they're the same size actually. I haven't even really compared. They look very similar. So they probably are the same pieces, but I think they had a different version number. So I've just reprinted them. So I'm uh, just screwing those into there. Then I'll assemble these bits inside and uh, I'll show you how that looks in a second. So I've got all four of those in now. That is a four mil bolt. I've just uh, measured it. So that's uh, that's securing. Originally, I only had three in there. You could probably hold that in with two, but it has got a, quite a bit of weight on there. Um, it doesn't, I mean, you could, I suppose, glue it on there if you were really uh, concerned because there's quite a bit of a pull on that section. But uh, the next bits that go together will be these going in here, like that, and the uh,
top piece there. Uh, these are completely new printed pieces as well. Most of this is uh, PTG. That is uh, PTG as well actually. So all of all of these new sections uh, just to give it extra strength. Um, that will go in there. These pieces will lock onto the top. Now I found I had to go and buy some additional bolts and these are 2.5s uh, uh, mainly because the nuts that go on them fit into those small holes that uh, are the only ones I could find that fitted into those holes uh, were 2.5 nuts rather than uh, 3 mils or 2 mils. Um, and they'll, the, which will bolt the whole section together there. So I'll, I'll screw that together and we'll see what I'm in. Okay, so you can see I've taken the head <laughs> quite apart. That's the eye section that sits in there. There was a couple of bolts at the bottom, a couple of bolts at the top. So I'm taking that out. Um, it's, I've, you'll see why, because I've, I've damaged the, the, uh, the speaker holder inside. Uh, also, just to let you see that bit, I've now got all that screwed together. These bolts are slightly too long, so I've just, uh, just cut those two down at the front there, just taking a, a couple of mil off them. Um, uh, which I'll do on these other ones because there is a uh, another. Um, uh, well, let's see. Actually, let me show you. If you can see that this piece here, which is that'll sit in like that. So that cog there will sit in here against this cog so uh, obviously if, if these bolts at the front were too high they just foul so I'm, I'm going to cut them all back so it's there's no uh, chance of those bolts catching just so this uh, the head could completely rotate that but not that it will but uh, just stops anything catching I'm not sure if I need this but I'm going to replace some of these pieces anyway in, in there because they've got slightly damaged just to see inside the old um, speaker plate, which I've got the new one here. Which sits in, like that sits inside. That got snapped off, so I'm gonna put that back in. But I, I'm not actually sure if I am gonna keep the speaker in there. I'm just having a think about that. It just adds quite a bit of weight to the head, which pulls it forward, whereas you can, Quite comfortably have the speaker in the body, and I'd have uh, less cable going into the into the neck. All of this I'm going to rewire as well. Uh, I'm going to remove this piece here. So, uh, it, particularly if I take the the speaker out, there's another cable to be uh, to got rid of. So I really need three relays in uh, three um, servo controls in here. The uh, left and right up and down for the eyes and the rotate which is that one there for the head uh, and obviously and that one so that's the that's the rotate for the head and that's the jaw up and down that one there um, I'm also going to change the jaw mechanism because there is a I've seen a, a slightly different jaw mechanism to, to make it work I can't I think it was on the um, Easy B uh, forum, so I'm going to have a look at that and put that in here. I think as well while I've got it all in part in, in bits. Um, I'm going to have uh, reduce all this wiring and probably just have a couple of uh, a single locking connector, a multi pin connector, so I can just unplug the whole thing because I've got all these cables going through here. Um, if I don't have this power breakout in the top, I don't need the power feed going into the head, so I just would need the that's the camera feed in there so I need that to go through uh, and that's extended already as you can see there so I might just put a, that, that will be pump, come part of the multi pin uh, and then I just have the um, four servos going through and um, and power for the well I wouldn't need the audio amplifier in there either so it would reduce quite a bit into uh, in into that thing so I might get away with uh, a small multi pin connector or, or even maybe just go back to uh, a single ribbon but the problem with the ribbon I'm not sure if that will feed through there easily so again I want it all to disconnect I'm not sure how I'm going to take it all apart but that's there's that's what I'm sort of looking at at the moment uh, how to uh, tidy up a lot of this stuff and uh, minimize it all 
but uh, as I said I've got that together and uh, that's the uh, that's the front piece there they're the two back so it's a lot it's a lot stronger a lot tougher there is um, as you can probably see there's a slot in there it is there uh, that would take a screw to go into there to stop it turning uh, the same with these there's the that would take a, a screw or bolt to go in there um, and that would take a bolt to go in there but it's going to be a lot stronger than the old method which was just these small little pivots uh, on, on there uh, which which worked uh, but um, just got to be careful sometimes the the arm would the the um, piston would twist on it so hopefully that will be uh, a lot tougher so um so just sort of just looking at my options on it so that's it for the second